so hello friends uh, welcome to interview fun day and today the company we are going to talk about that is optum and we will see the interview questions of, for the dotnet developer what type of question has been asked so before that i would request you please subscribe the channel and if you are liking the content please hit the like button because i can see there are lots of people watching in fact 90% people are watching the content and but not subscribing it which is not good because we people motivates if you uh, hit the bell icon and subscribe it that is the only thing you have to do so first of all let's talk about the company company is a, a subsidiary of united health yeah, optum and the company strength is 10 to 50000 employees and uh, basically works in the healthcare domain you can check the ambition box there are a lot of things i'm not going to talk about the review part today we will talk about the questions basically uh, asked for the dotnet developer so let's start uh, the questions uh, start from the intro and project details uh, like uh, similar to other interview questions like in explain the your project and uh, introduce yourself uh, what is your roles and responsibility in the company you have to tell all those things what technologies have you used in your current project can you please elaborate your current project do you have experience on azure or any aws are you working on a migration application or new one so these type of questions has been asked they if it depends upon the project they can ask you like do you work on reporting or not because there kind there might be a situation that they need a uh, people who works on the reporting have you done any migration like a legacy application to new application or any one fr framework to another framework there can be a chance like you have to work on from one framework to another framework you have to migrate the application so that questions has been asked because the requirement was like that explain to me how exactly your application contact connects uh, to the database how you are creating db context so whatever approach you are using the way you are connecting to database you have to tell those things how exactly are you deploying your applications deployment process you have to explain in your applications are you writing unit test if you are writing then you have to yes if we are not then no and if you are using any kind of framework for unit test then you have to tell now come to the mvc part the question is what is the benefit of using area in mvc now come to the dotnet part dotnet core why are we using core mvc in is instead of asp.net mvc now come to the web api part in web api there are lots of questions we are coming one by one the first question starts from what is the benefit of using routing in api what is the constraint uh, api level how many types of constraints are there can we add constraints in api routing so you have to tell about the uh, api routing what is the purpose of the response type as a i mean you have to explain about the response and the response type how many types are there and the question is related to that one there are xml and json response types how can we return any uh, only the xml response type because the client wants the response as an xml only the question related to sql is have you written a stored procedure difference between function and stored procedures did you get any chance to troubleshoot the stored procedures why it's taking more time so if you have done those things have you debugged those queries uh, stored procedures have you checked in the profiler i mean whatever approach have you done to troubleshoot the stored procedure you have to explain those things now come to the microservice question in microservice architecture which type of uh, have you used i mean you have to tell about the microservice type which type of architecture basically have you used in the design pattern the question is do you have any understanding of the design pattern and uh, the question is why basically we are using the design pattern the purpose of uh, design pattern you have to explain 
so that's all from my side these are the questions which has been asked in the round one there are lots of important and vvip questions you can note it down you can prepare so that's it from my side thanks a lot for being here we will meet in the next session so take care bye bye thank you